Lockdown 2020 continues, but we'll be back, and I'm here to give you five things that I really love. Uh, no shock, a lot of us are locked down, tying a bunch of flies, watching a lot of Nicolas Cage films, listening to weird music. If you're following me on Instagram, about Dot Trout, check out those stories, they'll keep you entertained. But I just wanted to share five things that have been getting me through this quarantine that I absolutely love, um, and so we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna dive right into it, getting crazy. Here we go. All right, number one, um, I've been tying with a ton of resin. I absolutely love my Loonlight. This is the big one. I don't know the proper name. It's the most expensive one. But what's great is it's going to cure your Gulf resin. If you're doing some of that colored stuff, which I do a lot of, um, cures your solar res in seconds. If you're doing a lot of thread Frenchies, Paragons, things like that, an absolute must. For years, I had one of those. I think it was the company was it was Tough Fly, that not Tough Fly. Um, the first resin company that hit the market, this was probably when I was like 13, uh, Clear Cure Goo. I don't know if they're around anymore, but I had a Clear Cure Goo light for like 10 years. And then a few years ago, or whenever this came out, I picked this up. It's been an absolute game changer. So if you're tying with resins, uh, highly, highly recommend this Loon Light. Moving on, this is probably, look, I see all the time there's all these clamps coming onto the market. There's the Swiss tool, there's whatever. You know, if you don't want to drop 40 bucks on that, if you don't want to spend $50 on a Marc Pettigene tying table, well, you're in luck because About Trout is about to give you this hack. All right, you're just going to need a block of closed cell foam like this and hit it with a razor blade. And then what's nice is when you have this, you can take your CDC feather and push it down, and voila. It's probably not gonna show up on this GoPro, but it'll fold your feather. And then one of the other things I absolutely love are these Stonfo clips. These are the one inch clips. You get two for 18 bucks. I use these all the time. The main use is I use them for this, pinch the feather, pull it out. It's pinched in there and folded. You can cut the stem and then go throw it in your loop. And then the other reason I keep this other one on my bench, because like, let's say I'm just production tying, I'm going to have lots of long strands of stuff when I'm going from pattern to pattern or from fly to fly. So I'll just use this to crimp some materials, put it off to the side. We're good to go. G to G. All right, moving on. Um, really digging this loon all purpose bobbin. I have the ergo. Um, I do have, I do have bigger hands, I think, um, as you can see, but what I don't like about the ergo bobbin, it's really comfortable, but the tube is really long for me. And I think it's because I've had this bobbin since I was 12. This is the bobbin that I started tying on and I like the loon all purpose bobbin cause it's the same size. So, I mean, this is, I've tied thousands and thousands of flies with this bobbin. I absolutely love it. And this is kind of nostalgic, the feel. It's got that shorter tube so I can get right on top of the flies, choke up on it, but really, really been digging this loon all purpose bobbin. Um, and then last but not least, um, something I've really been loving is Semperfly Nano Silk. Don't buy it because this is all you're gonna want to tie with. Semperfly Nano Silk's awesome. I'm using their 18 knot thread. Um, my flies are so much cleaner now. Uh, you can crank on it, so it's way stronger. My old favorite thread was UTC 70, and I still use that for like their fluorescent thread, but that nano silk has replaced, I mean, I tie with it almost every day now. Um, it spins really tight dubbing cables. You can really reef on it. And then for example, the other cool thing is if let's say you're tying your thread breaks with like 70 UTC denier, you can come right behind it with that 18 knot build up whip finish, boom, you're done. So it's a nice way to save your flies if you're snapping thread, but Semperfly nano silk, huge fan. And I think that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, we're down one. The other thing that I really love, got to count to five. It's a challenge. Um, <laughs> is my OPST dubbing spinner. So I use this the way that I like to do my CDC collars is, you know, I put them in a dubbing loop, spin it up. It's really heavy. It's hexagonal. So it's not going to roll off your tying bench. Um, the other nice thing with it is it's really well made. It's really heavy and it's going to 
just again, it's been really tight cables. If you can't find this OPST dubbing spinner and you want to support a local fly shop, I think the Loon one, it's the exact same thing. The difference with the Loon one is there's a ring, and the reason Perfect that CDC ring's helpful is after time. you twist up your dubbing loop, you can stick your finger in the ring and it'll make it easier to palmer. Uh, but you know, I gotta stay tried and true. This OPST dubbing spinner, uh, I paid full retail for this when I was living in Seattle, 26 bucks worth every cent. So, uh, <laughs> all right, worth every cent. So, and I abuse my stuff. So thank you guys. That's five things that I absolutely love getting you through typocalypse, I guess. Uh, see you guys on the other side. Hope you liked that video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Ah.